Greetings everyone, welcome to the next update of my layout progress. So as you might have seen in the previous video, I uh, completed my main line, uh, the first main line, finally. So uh, pretty excited about it. Only took about a year, but at least now I'm able to run trains all the way around the layout. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty psyched about it. Good stuff. But I uh, haven't had too many updates since the last video, which was almost a month ago. Um, we uh, went out to Alberta uh, to visit family. Um, so, uh, and since we got back, just really haven't had the time to work on the layout. But uh, while out in uh, Calgary, uh, I did manage to visit a few local shops, a few, uh, local model train shops, which uh, I always try to do whenever I'm traveling. And of course I couldn't resist. See if I could snag a few goodies. Um, no, I didn't go quite this crazy while on the road and uh, didn't get all of this while uh, in Calgary. But uh, to get a few goodies, I uh, wanted to um, just brag about it a little bit uh, while out there. Um, got a uh, Grand Trunk uh, Hopper. Uh, nice Atlas Hopper. Got a uh, CN Cupola Caboose. Um, had one of those before, and um, yeah, they might not be 100% prototypical, but uh, they're nice enough, and they'll look nice on the, uh, on the tail end of the trains. And uh, also lately I've been running, uh, I've been going a little bit crazy with uh, vehicles. I decided at one point I didn't have enough uh, 90s, 80s, and 70s vintage uh, vehicles. So kind of went a little bit crazy trying to uh, get what I could that fit the, uh, the, uh, the era that I'm modeling of 90s, uh, 1990s. So I uh, got myself a little, uh, not once again, not all of it in Calgary, but uh, within the last month, two months, uh, a little uh, Mercury uh, Mondeo, basically a Ford uh, Tracer, same thing. A little uh, Bobcat, uh, Mercury Bobcat, an Explorer, uh, an Escort. Um, actually, I'm sorry, that was a Ford Maverick. That's a Right there in the middle, that's a uh, Bobcat. Uh, 70s vintage, a uh, little Honda Accord kind of hanging there, hiding there behind the re reflection. Also pretty excited about these little guys. I uh, got a couple of them. I got a uh, Jeep Wagoneer. It's beautifully, beautifully detailed. It's made by Neo, um, I think Austrian company. They're a little bit pricey, but uh, the amount of detail on these cars are just spectacular. So I couldn't pass them. I've got uh, that Wagoneer. And also got this uh, Ford F100. The thing is absolutely beautiful considering how small it is. The amount of detail is pretty, uh, pretty extraordinary. Snagged some um, Osborne model kits uh, CN switch stands for my switches. As well as some uh, Canadian speed limit signs that I'll place in various areas eventually around the layout. And uh, also while I was there uh, in a um, one of the shops, I ran into this uh, Van Hobby's brass CP rail caboose or van, and uh, even though I model CN, I really couldn't pass it up. Uh, this was beautifully detailed, painted, uh, weathered, and it was uh, practically a steel. Uh, they, they were giving it away essentially. Uh, it's not 100% perfect, the glazing is a little off, uh, some minor details could be uh, updated, but uh, it's, pretty, it's, it's pretty well done for uh, a brass model. Um, uh, it's uh, wired with LEDs for backup lights, for marker lights, so it's in actually it's, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, we'll need a little bit of work. Um, the, uh, the wipers on the trucks were pretty much gone. So uh, I'm going to need to replace the trucks on these and uh, oops, sorry, I'm going to swap out the trucks, put up some new, some new wipers on them and uh, replace the electronics inside. But as I said, it's wired for LEDs, LEDs work. So uh, just going to swap a, um, I got earlier today, a uh, function decoder uh, from TCS. So uh, here we go. So I just picked that up earlier today. Basically, going to uh, install that inside the uh, inside this caboose uh, to 
you get control over the marker lights, the backup lights, as well as the uh, interior lighting. You can install some LEDs and uh, as well as a set of new trucks. So that's going to be one of the projects. Um, among other toys, uh, didn't get them in Calgary, but uh, ordered around the same time. Some uh, Ather and CN uh, containers, um, some uh, some more sections of the pavement. Uh, in the previous video, I mentioned that I uh, tried out this uh, pavement system from Walters, and I kind of liked it. So uh, needed a few more sections to extend it to the back of the town of Highwood. So I got a few more sections of that, and um, also uh, I saw at a train show earlier uh, a few months back. Uh, this iCar uh, from Minuteman Scale Models. Uh, they basically uh, it's a laser cut wood kit. Uh, you put it together, stick your phone in there, and then uh, have it pushed by a locomotive and uh, gives you allows you to take first uh, first person perspective uh, videos of your layout. Kind of something that I wanted to do uh, for a future video at some point. So pick that up. Uh, I do have an iPhone 4S, not a 5. Uh, he was out of the parts. Uh, for the uh, iCar 4, so uh, took him uh, took the guy a few uh, few weeks to uh, get it out. He was still waiting for the parts, so uh, he basically threw in the necessary parts to make. Uh, he should give me a five, threw in the parts for the four, um, and uh, I'm guessing because of the delays, he just threw in this kit for a shed. Didn't order it, uh, didn't pay for it, didn't ask for it, but uh, the guy threw it in out of the goodness of his heart. So uh, big props to. Uh, to Minuteman, to Minuteman scale models, uh, seems like a nice little shed model, so I'm sure I'll find a nice place for it in the layout. Also, uh, one of the projects that I've been uh, planning on is uh, installing crossing gates uh, here at this uh, great crossing. So, uh, uh, I got the, uh, the inserts that need to be, I mentioned before, need to be stained. And uh, I've had a set of uh, gates uh, for a while that have been sitting in the box. So finally I decided that it's time to start uh, installing the gates. So I got this uh, from Great Crossing, uh, uh, from Logic Rail, Great Crossing Pro, which is a module uh, which uses um, IR detection. They support basic uh, photo cells as well. But I'm going to use the infrared to detect approaching trains. It's got all the embedded logic as well as a uh, comes with a uh, uh, well it doesn't come with it but uh, ordered separately a, a little sound module for the uh, for the bell itself and I got a speaker to that will uh, hook up to this so that's going to be one of the projects uh, coming up getting the great crossing animated and functioning um, I'll have a video about it and obviously uh, retrofitting this uh, uh, lovely caboose with um, with a uh, function decoder and uh, lighting. So those are my projects coming up. As I said, I'll have uh, videos coming on those too uh, at some point in the near future, hopefully. And uh, that's about it for this video. Uh, no more updates, uh, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, once again, uh, feel free to uh, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. So long.